and you're very welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to learn how to identify uh, the sine, cos, and tan of a right angle triangle. So, uh, if we look up here, uh, one thing I want you to be aware of is when I refer to the uh, to A, sorry, I'm talking about an angle. So, when I'm getting sine of A, it's sine of an angle called A, cos of an angle called A, and tan of an angle called A. So, we have a very simple memory for this. And it goes a bit like this. So, ka, toa. Now, in the last lesson, we learned how to find the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides of a triangle. So, if you don't remember that, click back up and watch that video. There's a link in the top right corner of the screen there now. So, what this means, basically, remember our catchphrase, so, ka, toa. Okay, say it again. So, ka, toa. Keep saying it till you remember, folks. Okay, what that means, the S stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so to write that in here, what that means, sine A is equal to my opposite over my hypotenuse. And we're going to be building on this now as we go through each of the different lessons. My cos A is my cat there, so that means cos equals the A adjacent over the H hypotenuse. So let's write that in here. So cos A equals the adjacent over my hypotenuse. And last but not least then my tan A, well, that brings in my TOA. So my T is my tan, my O is my opposite, and my A is my, yeah, you guessed it, adjacent. And if you just stayed silent there, well, so be it. <laughs> so opposite over adjacent. So, whilst all this might be a bit of a head melt to remember, all you have to do is remember Sokotoa. If you remember Sokotoa, you are sorted for this chapter. Okay, so let's put this into practice in a real triangle. So, let's look down here. I've got a right angle triangle, not drawn to scale naturally enough, with a side of 5, 3, and 4. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify which side which is which. So, I find my right angle, and I know it'll go to the side opposite of that, so I know my hypotenuse is going to be 5. I'm just going to do this in shorthand. I go to my angle A, I go diagonally across, and I know that's going to be my opposite, so 3 is my opposite. But then the other side is to be my adjacent. How do I know or how do I double check that? Well, it's the angle, there's a side even between the angle and the right angle there. Excellent. Now that I've worked that out, I now need to figure out what sine A, cos A, and tan A are. So, let's write this in. So sine A, I know, is my opposite over my hypotenuse. So what is it gonna be? Well, sine A then is going to be, what's my opposite? Well, as you can see there, it's tree. So I'm going to write in tree. And a pen maybe will be helpful. There we go. And my hypotenuse, well, you can see there is five. So the answer is tree over five. Let's move on to the next one then. Cos A. Well, we know cos is the same as saying, oh, don't know why that's in my wrong color there. Sorry. So cos A. Well, I know that's going to be my adjacent over hypotenuse. How? Because of Sokotoa. So, let's apply that to this triangle then. So, cos A, therefore, is going to equal, well, what's my adjacent then? Well, my adjacent in this is 4, and my hypotenuse is 5. So, this is going to be cos A equals 4 over 5. And last but not least then is tan A. So tan A, our memory for that is TOA. So tan A, so TOA, T-O-A, T for tan, O for opposite, A for adjacent. So that becomes tan A over, well, what's my, ta what's my opposite and adjacent sides in that triangle? Well, my opposite is three, my adjacent is four. So therefore, my answer is going to be tan A equals three over four. 
And now I've identified what the sine, cos, and tan of a right angle triangle is. If any questions, ask below in the comments. If you enjoy the video, give it a like, and why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks very much for watching, folks. See you in the next video.